Yes, start the music now. <laughs> that was appropriate. <laughs> nice, thank you for being here. Thank you, if you know who I am, I appreciate that. If you don't know who I am, please just look at this sweater. <laughs> Front row, you can feel the quality. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> now you should respect what I do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. We're getting brought up here on a White Lives Matter joke. It's like I never left America. <laughs> <laughs> We're all alike. Uh, <laughs> it's so good to be here. I was my second time in Tokyo. Um, I love coming here. How do you make a place so fun where marijuana is so illegal? <laughs> How does that happen? There are a lot of places where marijuana is very illegal, but they're not fun. <laughs> They're like, you come here to read and not be gay. <laughs> <laughs> well, you guys are like, hey, we got neon and fighting robots and muscle girls that will slap you in the face. <laughs> <laughs> Don't smoke weed. <laughs> smoke weed and watch anime all day. <laughs> That's stupid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this place is weird. <laughs> Mostly in fun ways, but also it's kind of creepy here. Like I saw some school kids running around in Japanese porn girl outfits. <laughs> Isn't that illegal? <laughs> That's a those only outfit. <laughs> I was walking down the street, saw a kid, and I was like, no, what the fuck? <laughs> I was like, oh, this is bad? <laughs> I only saw those outfits in pornography. <laughs> Oh, it's good. It's so, Renoko, thank you so much for those kind words. I really appreciate that. Like I said, the first time I met him was uh, when I, a few years ago at the comedy in Osaka. I bombed so hard. I did not do well at all. I bombed so hard, and I brought my, my fiance here with me, and she was sitting in the front row, and I was like looking to her for jokes, and she was like, don't, don't look over here. <laughs> And then she was mad afterwards that I bombed so hard. And I was like, why are you mad? It's, comedy, my comedy is how we fucking got here. <laughs> <laughs> and then it just stuck with me for a while. And then eventually I was like, oh, we shouldn't, this is not a good relationship. I should get out of this. But first we should get married and have a kid. <laughs> Like, I knew, I knew the day we in Tokyo. I knew the day that show. I was like, this ain't for me. But I was like, mm, we gonna still have a kid, though. Ah, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, so right now, I'm going through my second divorce. <laughs> oh. It's OK. I like to be very positive. I don't even like to say divorce. I prefer the term, I completed my marriage. <laughs> <laughs> I graduated. <laughs> Went back and got my master's degree. <laughs> Didn't even take that long. I don't even understand. I know people been married 10, 20 years. I'm like, you a slow learner. <laughs> <laughs> Buck 
knuckle down and apply yourself. <laughs> you should have been out of this marriage in four years, Tom. <laughs> Plus, it's my second divorce. I can't act like I didn't know it could happen. <laughs> I knew the risk, you know? And plus, you know what they say, fool me once, shame on you. But fool me twice, then I have to promise my mother no more white bitches. <laughs> She's like, I've noticed the common denominator. 